Well, hello, YouTube and subscribership. I'm sitting here and I'm doing some rigging. And I was just thinking to myself, of all the old float riggers, and a few, I mean, I personally have seen, and they don't know how to make a stopper knot. And it don't have to be just because you're making your, your um, you know, putting together a float rig. It could be for anything. You can use a stopper knot for about anything. You want to put a stopper and then a bead and you want to run a little uh, egg sinker and you only want it to go so far up your line. I mean, it's all easy. Very easy. So I'm going to show you the easiest way that I make a stopper knot. I got this cheap ass Pro Cat like bright green line. I use it so you can see your stopper. And I'm hoping that y'all are going to be able to see it here. I'm going to do it really close to the camera. You take your length of line and I put it up against the back of my braid. And I form a loop. Okay. Man, is this twisty stuff or what? Why is it being so difficult? Okay. So I make a loop around my braid and I pinch it right there. Okay. Then you're going to take one of your tag ends. And I mean, none of this has to be perfection, but you want to go through the loop that you're holding and around your braid. And I do it like five times, 20 pound on 30 pound braid. This stuff works fantastic. So there, you do about five wraps around the loop and your braid, and you pull it tight. It's just that simple. And there you go. You get it nice and tight, and now you've got a stopper knot that will really hold on to braid. This is 30 pound black Hercules for what they call it four strand or something like that and you got yourself a nice stopper knot here I'm using it because I got a float and I'm rigging up float rig rods here and I got a small bead and it goes in and bangs into it it don't matter if you had a sliding sinker you'd put a bead and then a little sliding sinker whatever you're doing your crappy fishing your whatever you're doing your bottom fishing, and it don't matter. Now these tag ends, you leave kind of long because it don't matter. You cut them off, and now the reason you leave them kind of long is out throughout the day, you can grab this and tighten it up. And that is on there tighter than God dang Dick's hat band. Okay, now it can loosen up. Now, let me show you something else here. I think I got them. Here we go. This is so much easier and quicker. You always got mono. Like I said, I use 20. Something I can see. Be it red, green. It don't have to be where you can see it. But I just happened to pick this cheap ass pro cat crap. This stuff here was just some kind of junk from, uh, I don't even know anything about it, from uh, Academy Sports. But stereotypically on the float, people will be using these type things. I'm sure you've seen these when you're rigging up floats, right? And this is like a little piece of yarn. And people go, oh man, I ran out of these. You don't need this. You don't need it. That 20 pound mono does just fine. Now then, you know, it used to be that that was a solid tube. Now it's got a slice in it. So you can run your line through and you slip this off and then you tighten it up. But this yarn ends up kind of all getting unraveled like that. I just find these really kind of a pain. This is, 
you know, this is for super beginners, I believe. I mean, they're, you, you buy them in these packs. I don't even know why. I've got a giant bag of them. I don't know how I even came about with all these. I'll never use them in a million years. Because, see, this, believe it or not, when it gets loose during the day, if it does, you can reach in here at your fingernails and you can pull it off and just tie on another one. You don't have to unrig. Here, this entire setup right here, I'd have to unrig it. My sea daddy, Captain Randall, and he, he showed me just using the motto on the braid. You know, and I'll give you the definition of a sea daddy. For me, a sea daddy is a guy who done forgot more than what most people will ever know. And that was Cap Randall. So, Cap Randall showed me this years and years and years ago. And he said, my God, that holds all day long on the braid. So, there you go. There's just a little tech tip how to make a down and dirty stopper knot out of 20 pound mono onto your braid. Alrighty, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See ya!